Hello everybody, I'm your friend and neighborhood Let's Player Spider-1 and welcome you back to Let's Play Fallout 2 and that is Snake Logan. Hey there fellas. So last we left off we did the first thing in the game which is the trials and now we are in our home uh, tribe's village, uh, Arroyo. So let's talk to people here a little bit. There's Cameron, a fellow tribesman. It was good to see you again, Chosen One. How may I help you? Hello, Cameron. Ready for another fight? You have a tongue of purest silver, Chosen One. Your skill with words will open many doors for you. <laughs> good day to you, Cameron. And to you as well, Chosen One. May the spirits guide you on your quest. Thanks, Cameron. Do they really need to remind themselves that their names are Chosen One and Cameron? Why did he call me Snake? Yeah, it's programmed into the game that they call you Chosen One instead of your name. It's kind of silly that way, that no people in this game really call him Snake Logan. They're gonna be calling him the Chosen One, especially here in the village. Maybe people outside of the world, well, nobody really addresses you by the by your name that you've chosen in the game. Especially here in Arroyo. That's just how it works. Let's talk to Cameron again. I'd like to visit the temple again. Take the path to my left, Chosen One. It leads to the temple proper. The cave entrance behind me will return you to the last chamber. Alright, thanks. But there's no really need to go back there because we've already done whatever there needs to be. But if you just go through it real fast and you don't kill all the uh, ants and scorpions that are in there, then you can go back. And yes, I am avoiding those living plants. I don't want to deal with them right away. Now, why is there a female villager walking around here? Hello, I hear you the chosen one. Now perhaps our village can be saved. What can you tell me about the traders who trade with us? No, oh, it's not my place to deal with the traders. Talk to Minoc, the guardian of the Great Bridge. He sees them all. Could you tell me where the Great Bridge is located? Good joke, chosen one. You <laughs> know where it is. That way, to the south. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah, you've lived your whole life in this village here. You don't know where the gate and where the great bridge is. Hey, sometimes you forget and I got hit by uh, got lots of giant ants and scorpion venom I messed up with my brain. You didn't take any healing powder though. It's a smell of the dung over here, okay? And that is a um That is a lot of shit. No, it's purely shit. You can tell, it's shit. The game calls it goo, but it's poop. You see some strange, noxious biological goo. AKA feces, dung, crap. You name it, it's that. Also, if you ever see this Brahmin, you see. Yeah, they always go just moo, moo, moo. But if you see a text above them with asterisks and in the middle it says grunt. There's uh, n there will be another pile of goo appearing right behind their ass. Trust me, it happens. Not here. That these are just walking around, but in other places, in other towns and everything, if they have Brahmin and they go grunt, you'll just see a pile of goo appear. So let's talk to uh, Negor. Negor, you see your young cousin Negor. You don't see his dog smoke anywhere. Cousin, am I glad to see you. I need your help. What do you need help with? Smoke ran off into the hunting grounds and has to come back, and now Moralis won't let me go find him. She says it's too dangerous and she he's just a dog. But I was going to go anyway, but now you're here, and you could do it, and I wouldn't get in trouble. Sure, I'll find him right now. Of course, I don't need to ask where the hunting grounds. They're right there, to the west. It's a good thing I know how to play this game because I know where to go, what to do, who the people are, and what they do. And other stuff. That was quite the sentence right there. And here is Hakunin, the shaman of our village. Before you stands Hakunin, the village shaman. That's exactly what I just said. He, appear he appraises you with his crazy eyes from somewhere in the world only he inhabits. 
Yeah, he, just the just the typical stereotypical shaman here. He's high as hell. Greetings, chosen. Why does the earth before me warm to the touch of your passing? Because I'm walking here. I've come to say goodbye. I'm leaving on my holy quest. The earth sings with the news of a champion upon the land. Perhaps before you go, you would bestow a kindness? Sure. What do you need? The plants of Dark Soul have infested my garden again. The living Many plants. seasons have touched my bones, and I am too frail for the fight which is eternal in nature. Hey, he's old I as hell. I ask that you be my champion. Yeah, he's really old. You can see that he has, like, these crevices under really big bags under his eyes, and you can see all kinds of wrinkly, wrinklies in his face. Yeah, he ain't that young. He's, like, 60-year-old uh, or something, and in this day and age, that's quite the high age. Of course, we will meet people who are a lot older. You'll see, eventually. But he asks us, uh, he's pretty much just asking us to take care of the living plants that are in his garden, those two big plants. Uh, I always love this one. Did you just ask me to weed your garden? If that's the case, okay. But he, he really talks in the most, in the mystic ways of the shaman. Like I said, he's just stereotypical, just super stereotypical. I'd be honored, holy one. May the gods bless your efforts, Chosen. May your aura grace my presence when the earth breathes clean again. I take it you want me want to see me again when I'm done. You could have just said so, you know. Goodbye. Yeah, I don't want to go with the first one. That's a little um, too much of a, you know, angry way of saying it. That the hey, you want you want me to just come back, you know. <laughs> Because in this game, you do have, you do have karma. Like, we got a, a karma from, you know, doing the trial and everything. But they fixed everything with, with the karma as well, because... Usually, when I started this game, I took everything that they have in these pots and shells, because you can uh, examine them and uh, see what you can pick up from them. But if you do them now, you're stealing. And you will lose karma, and you don't want to do that if you're playing the way I do, you know, goody two shoes type. So what we do is we just uh, go over here and kick some ass. Oh no, one hit point. Yeah, they spit seeds at you, or uh, small spikes. Very annoying when you think about it. And now that I think about it, when they chant, usually back in the day, like I said in the end of the last video, we thought that they say YOLO, which, which is Christmas in Finnish. But now that I listen to them again, and these day and age, after 20 years, well not, well not 20 years, 10 years. After 10 years of first time playing this game, now it's so like they say YOLO. YOLO BITCHES! You know, YOLO. That's it. YOLO. I don't know. I just try to be funny. And these guys aren't that much of a hassle. They have a lot of hit points, but they're not that much of a hassle. They don't really hit that hard and all that. It just takes a little while to take care of them because you can only use your fists. Of course, if you are a melee weapon user, you use a melee weapon against them. But since we are neither in the long run, I'll just, you know, melee them to death. Gives me a chance to kick ass and ow, that hurt. Sorry, Snake, I forgot that this this other one is a little tougher than the other. Yeah, I can kind of tell. Ain't gonna stop me from killing it, though. Yeah. Okay, this guy is for hitting us really hard. The good thing is, even after doing this and you might be hurt pretty bad, you can go back to Hakun and tell him that, hey, we've done this and all is clear, and he will heal you for it. I think he also give you some healing powder that you will never use, but you can ask him to heal you after doing this. Because he is the village healer, after all, that's what shaman do. Not only doing mystic stuff of mysticness, but also heal 
And you have rid the garden of all the plants of Dark Soul. Didn't know I was playing Dark Souls here. But that's almost 200 experience points. Which is nice. What's that uh, per plant at 85? Let me check. Because I did. Yeah, that's 85 per plant. So that's almost 300 experience points. Which is good, which is good, which is good. Alright, let's go back to Hakunin. Ah, you return the spirit of the dweller to the world and bring a smile to the soul of an old man in passing. For this, I give you powders of healing. Right. Remember, they fog the mind as they cleanse the body. Yeah, I know. I already explained it to people what happens. And also, doesn't he look really stoned? He just keeps staring at you, and he's not really... It doesn't seem like he's really staring right at you. Just a little past you. Like, he's trying to look into your mind. And also, he mentions the spirit of the dweller. Yeah, and like I said, this is a continuation after the first game, where we are the pure descendant of the Vault Dweller. Thank you. And also, will I mix the Brock flower with the Xander root together whenever you bring both to me? May your pathways be true and your heart follow suit. So I think he's pretty much saying that if you find Brock flowers and Xander roots, he will mix them up to make more healing powder if you ever need them. Like I said, would you ever use that thing anyway? Thank you. Again. So there's nothing else to talk to him really pretty much. Pretty much already uh, talked to him about everything, and you can pick up these seeds and actually use them as throwing weapons if you ever take throwing, which is kind of a... Uh, yeah, this here. Skilled of muscle propelled range weapons such as throwing knives, spears, and grenades. And also plant seeds. Or plant spikes. They do like 1 to 3 damage, so in the beginning they might be good. If you ever take throwing for a challenge, after all, you can take those then. Ah, Chosen. My garden is well. How is yours? Pretty trimmed. Make like a... Tr I mean, oh, he wasn't talking about that kind of garden. No, he was not talking about that kind of garden steak. Sorry. I need healing. You are well. No lessons, no incomprehensible speeches. You sure you're okay? Well, thank you. Ah, Chosen. Ah, uh, never mind, I've got to go. No need to listen to you anymore. So yeah, he just heals you. Fully healed. After, like, two minutes. He's a fast healer. So, like I said, after a fight like that, you better use him for a good measure. And now we are going to go into the hunting grounds to find a uh, dog named Smoke. This place can be pretty dangerous, because we got the new enemy of the game that we haven't seen before. The Gecko. These uh, animals, yeah, they, they're not as easy as you think. They look uh, harmless and everything. You can just run past them here. You don't have to fight them, unless you want to. They do give a lot of experience points for the beginning of the game. And also, this is radioactive goo. Yeah, you see nothing out of the ordinary, just the glowing green stuff on the ground. Don't step on it, it hurts. And also gives you radiation. So better be careful, just walk the plank. And don't fall into the waters. <laughs> anyway, about the geckos. Yeah, you can, you can fight them. You can uh, get nice experience, I think it's like 125 experience points per kill. They're tough as nails though. They each bite, if they bite you, that is like five to seven hit points. If they just swipe at you, that's like one to four. But they can attack quite a few times and they're really tough for the beginning. If, if you use your, if, unless you're really skilled, which you should be, if you use unarmed and melee weapons, go ahead, kill them, kill them all. It's a good, it's good experience. But I'm not skilled, so I'm not gonna do it, and then because I might die. Or should I say snake might die? And there's smoke! Woof woof! Arf arf! 
So if if I could click on you, I could take a look at you. He should be just fine. A canine, probably of a mixed breed, and looks unhurt. So everything's good. Now we got smoke with us, and oh crap! That's the one part I hate. These guys roam all over the place, and yes, they can come through the plank and pretty much stop you on your tracks if you want to go back. Yeah, step on the goo, get yourself hurt. Even though they are pretty neutral here, they can be aggressive if you get too close. You know, personal space and all that. Ugh, stupid dog. Come on, this way. This is the only way you can actually get here to get smoke. You cannot go through here. This is a, there's an invisible barrier there that you cannot pass through. In some parts, these are too thick to get through, so you just go from some other spot like this. It's like these uh, these trees are like the invisible barriers that you cannot get through. You gotta remember that. It doesn't matter if smoke is a little bit hurt. Just don't make him walking through the uh, goo all the time. He will die. The dog has like 10 hit points or something. He dies really quickly. So once you come back, smoke will run to Nagor, Nagor, Nangor, Na Nagor. Back to him and quest is complete. You found smoke. Thanks. Smoke, you're a bad dog. You're welcome. Goodbye. And that's that. Gained 5 karma and 100 experience points. Yay! We are the real hero of the place. Or something like that. So let's take a look around. What else do we find here? There's a lot of people just walking around. What the heck is going on here? Oh, that's a war rock. To me, it looks like intestines on the ground. Did you people think it was intestines on the ground? To me, it looked like intestines on the ground. But instead, it's just an old woven floor rug. And also, like I said, I really do like what they did with the uh, field of vision with the uh, fog of war and everything with, on the uh, on the project uh, project uh, salvation, whatever. You know, the restoration project mod that I put into the game. Ugh, can't talk today. Anyway, we got the elder here, the elder of your village. Congratulations, Chosen One. Thanks. You have survived the Temple of Trials. Yeah, barely. Are you ready for your quest? Oh, what were you doing? Trying to get me killed in the temple? Well, pretty much. Because it was to, to prove that you are truly the Chosen One. That you can take on the dangers of the outside. If the dangers are only just giant ants and rat scorpions. Small ones. It doesn't really prepare to you into the outside world. Except with explosives, locked doors, and traps. Those are those are good things to learn. Well, also it kinda it tells you how to fight. Yeah. So everything's good there, but it doesn't really prepare you to the outside world because you got still got the business with the humans and you got a bigger Bigger animals there that can kill you, also all kinds of soldiers, criminals, mercenaries, murderers, killers, psychopaths, you name it. Oh, and mutants, of course. Of course! Then take this flask. It is from the Holy Vault 13. Awesome. Vic, a trader in Klamath, brought it to us. He may know where the vault is. You may also need some of what they call money. Here. Money. She's like the female version of uh, uh, Emperor Palpatine. Good. I can feel your anger. It's just this way she speaks. And we got 152 caps. Although in this one they're not caps, they're actually coins. After all these years... 60, 70, 80 years. After World Dweller, they had bottle caps, but in this day and age, they actually print money. In coin form. And it's back to the old medieval ages where we just use coins to pay stuff. Is there more you can tell me? I cannot help much. 
So much has been lost from the long ago. What wisdom do you seek? I also like the talking heads in this game a lot better than in the first because they look more detailed and more human. Like in the first game, they look really cartoony and like, uh, you know, claymation style. But here, a lot better art. Tell me more about the Gek. It is a holy artifact. The Garden of Eden creation kit. The discs promise it will make our lands green and our village prosperous. It will save us. More, I do not know. Yeah, pretty much the Garden of Eden creation kit is an irrigation device. It'll help you get all kinds of... Uh, it will make plants grow even in dry sand, pretty much. It will help uh, get irrigation going. So that's what, pretty much what it does. It doesn't like in the beginning, it doesn't start building uh, cities on its own. You do that yourself. But it is pr basically just an irrigation kit. To help you get farms and water and such going on. What do you need? What we need is... How do I get to Klamath? Klamath is to the east. Wow. Best information ever. Go east. What is this, a text adventure game now? There are other things I would learn. What do you need? Where is Vault 13? The Holy 13? I cannot help you. Only the Vault Dweller knew. His tales have the sound of a perilous journey. You don't even know the half of it, do you, lady? I don't think he didn't... I think he took the secret of Vault 13 into his grave because he didn't want you or anybody else to go find it, knowing what danger lies in the vault. Remember, he murdered the Overseer after all. I don't think it's canon that you killed the Overseer, but I consider it canon that he murdered Overseer because he wouldn't let him live in the vault anymore. <laughs> That's what I think. Kind of makes sense, too. I mean, you would be pissed off, too, after spending two and a half years outside in the world trying to save it, and you do, and then the Overseer, the leader you have been following for all your life just says, yeah, fuck you. We don't care about you anymore. At least I don't. So, no. I say no. Fuck you. Yeah. And then you shoot him in the bits. It's called justice. Vengeance. And uh, truth. Goodbye, Elder. Find Vic in Klamath. We are counting on you. Great. Yet again, many lies lie, uh, lie on my shoulders as I go out into the world to save it from who knows what kind of dangers lie ahead. You okay there, Steak? I don't know, it's just trying to be you. Well, it kind of works because I usually kind of like that. I just go on and on and on, just like I did right now. Sorry about that. Sometimes I just uh, need to get some things out when I think about them during um, gameplay. But anyway, I'm gonna stop it here, because next time we are still doing a little bit here in the Royal. There's still a few things to do here, talking to people and all that. And then we're gonna leave Arroyo and uh, go out into the wastelands to find out what we can do out there. And what kind of damage we can do. And also, try to find a gun. Because what we really need is a freaking gun. Not to mention that we need a level up. So we can use the gun a lot better. But until then, I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning, and I will see you. We... We'll see you all next time. Get it right, goddammit, and stop burping. Sorry, it just happens. Take care, people. Bye. Take care, you all. Have a nice day.